overflows. Jati Samran and Memories of the Past Life Memories of past life is one of the greatest hindrance in the process of transformation and going forward. Buddha and Mahabir developed a unique technique to clear the memories of the past life. This technique is known as Jati Samran. But I do not suggest that anybody should go into it on its own because you have to settle things in this life and that is more than enough. Everyone has issues relating to memories of past relations or something like this which they are not able to sort out on their own. All that is psychological impressions, both Buddha and Mahabir did not initiate to take anyone into the path unless the memories of the past life were cleared. Many times people have disturbance in the relationships, they abandon one, enter into second and they ask me, I have suggested always, that do not go into the next relationship until you clear the memories or impressions of the relationship that you are coming out. One life is enough and when you go into the memories of the past lives, it comes like you have opened a floodgate and memories start coming, surfacing in such a way that it becomes difficult for you to handle. While studying people, an amazing fact came. They remember things which cannot be true. Nobody remembers that he was an ordinary and he is ordinary right now as well. Everyone remembers that he was Alexander the Great, he was Emperor Ashok Great. I have never come across any single person who remembers when he was nobody. Just a shoemaker or a cloth merchant or a grocer, nobody remembers the ordinariness. And certainly what they are remembering is their psychological desire of that life. Everybody wants to be richest man and this is the desire that they have or achieve eminence in a particular field. And this is what they remember. It has nothing to do with factuality. They wanted to be great, rich man, very powerful, very influential. But that desire that repressed idea has come to surfaces when you are exploding the past lives. Now they remember as if they were great like Alexander, but right now they may be very, may be a shoemaker. It is against the process of evolution. If you were a great man, good or bad, you moved directly into that dimension. For instance, you are working on a music, recording a music, 
creating a music yesterday and then for one month you could not handle it when you after one month you got the opportunity certain equipment that was missing you got it so when you will start you will start where you have left not what you was that you have to go from the very beginning either would you, you would have become worse you can develop the music or remembering that you have been wrong in those or you had done something wrong you may have risen in consciousness you have become a wise man a non-violent a man of purity and innocent so you have to move where you have left but if you had been imagining that you have become a great singer you have won awards but that does not seem to be the problem you are just an ordinary person that shows that your past has not been extraordinary but their memories is very certain and they do not forget it because you wanted to be a great musician a singer of eminence who has won many awards the easiest way to lead anybody into the past lives without breaking the barrier i don't like to break the barriers breaking the barriers is very dangerous it is like opening a flood of so many memories you may not be able to contain them in your head you will you may burst forth you may start doing things which nobody has ever expected you will not be in your own control when i begin to work on this sort of situations bringing out or clearing the memories of the past life i have to go in a very easy and i a certain manner that memories do not explode and create a problem so the method of buddha and mahabir are perfectly right but they are dangerous you have to go into step by step it takes time with certain examples certain things when you are working with someone you immediately know where the basic problem lies where the basic problem lies and all other things revolve around that basic problem so you have to work technically and in a mis mystical way around that problem in many different dimensions there is theoretically it there are certain principles that we have to follow but each situation is unique as each person is unique and his journey has to be in a in his own way like you are creating this the technique to suit that person and i don't propose that anybody should use any kind of method that breaks the barrier without breaking the barrier of the past anybody should use any kind of method that breaks the barriers without breaking the barrier past can be remembered 
and that is enough that is that happens through hypnosis when i woke i do not use the word hypnosis yet is still it is a hypnotic method you can be made unconscious in your unconsciousness you can be taken back slowly first to the moment of your birth in this life in which you do not remember consciously moment of your birth in this life this you do not remember consciously the then the second step is you have to be taken to the day when you was conceived which you do not remember then slowly and slowly to your death in the past life naturally if that comes first it will be like reading a book from the back reading the book from the first so what i had been doing on my own write my daily diary the important events of the day first in a chronological order of its happening the first thing that happened when i got up and the last thing to be written in the end when i went to before i went to sleep reading the book from the front page then i reversed this process and started writing the diary from the last page the last incident that has happened before going to sleep then the event before this is somewhat more difficult when you are re- because you have to establish the connection when you are reading the book from the back page reading the book from the front page is normal but in order to remove the memories you have to at times work from the back page first the when you are reading the book from the back first you will be dead then you will become an old man then you will become a young man first your children will be born then you will be married in that order and then in order to trigger more questions and memories certain things were done so that certain expressions certain words certain other things in order to trigger the memories that you can go back into your memories which have been disturbing and then slowly and slowly bring out that way a lot clears out then everybody has problem does not know what is life what is relationship what is sex and so you work on that in working on those things you clear out many of the memories to check whether but it will not disturb you because you do not remember your conscious mind remains without being flooded this is what jati samran is from that evolved the modern technique